Hello, everyone. I'm Christian Roberts. I am here with my fabulous friend and co-host, Quodicia Johnson. And we are back with another episode of Taking the Stage with Christian. And Quo. And as we begin all of our episodes, because it's important in how we center truth and connection, it is important in how we move forward together. We will start with a land and people acknowledgement. We do acknowledge right here, right now, that we are on stolen land. We are on the land of the cattle, the Wichita, and the Comanche sovereign nations of human beings who cultivate the land since time immemorial. Human beings who also face horrible conditions, including genocide and policy that forced to removal from the land. We also want to acknowledge that people were stolen from their homes and brought here to what is now known as Dallas and forced into free and enslaved labor. From that free and enslaved labor, from that stolen labor, that stolen land, those stolen lives, we have what we now enjoy in various ways as Dallas. We do this never to cast blame as we've inherited all of these things, just like we've inherited our last names, mine being Johnson, Miss Roberts here as well, because we are descendants of those enslaved people. But we do this because it is important in how we connect. It is important in how we move forward together. It is important in how we honor the truth. It is important in how we reduce the harm and how we create greater community going forward. We thank you for joining us for this land and people acknowledgement. And of course, we thank you for joining us yet again uh, as we begin to round out this year. Uh, we just wanted to check in. Um, yeah. This is the quote title of the episode um, this time of year. Oh. And that's for a reason. You know, uh, you hear a lot of people saying, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all of these different things right now. But, you know, uh, for some folks, it's it's a, it can be a rough time of year. And it can be a busy time of year. Uh, so we just wanted to come on and, uh, and just chat about that a little bit. We're, we're artists, you know, we're arts administrators. Um, we know this time of year can be particularly lucrative <laughs> for, for artists uh, out there. So we um, definitely hope you are all staying healthy uh, and collecting your coins. <laughs> 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 all right, folks, so let's uh, dive in. Uh, yeah, so this time of year can mean many things, right? It's a favorite time of year to some. It is, like you said, a lucrative, lucrative time of year to artists. Um, this is a time of year where the winter solstice is in this space, right? So this part of the, the world is kind of the farthest away from the sun. And what that means is we move closer into a time of sometimes, you know, we start to reflect. Sometimes we start to move with the earth and what this means for right now to be a space of quiet and dark <laughs> and reflection. So we wanted to make sure that we check in, that we remind ourselves, that we remind each other, that we remind you that it is okay to feel all the things that you're feeling, whether that's the joy of the season and the holiday, woo -woo, whether that is the difficulty of a loved one who's no longer there, whether that is the realization that you've been going all year and you've probably been going hard all year. And now, right, in this effort to stop or in this forced stop because everybody else is taking a break or in what you want to be a break that may not be showing up as a break all these different things that it is okay to feel however way you feel and that you're not alone in how you feel this time of year represents a lot of things so it is our hope that this time of year also represents opportunity for reflection and connection in whatever way is most meaningful for you so that's what i'm thinking about right this time of year i, I live with my family we're together all the time uh <laughs> Uh, and this time of year is normally um, pretty, pretty quiet, maybe, compared to other spaces. If you know anything about my household, we're, we're always loud <laughs> and we're always singing. <laughs> this time of year is a bit more quiet, um, only as we prepare uh, to kind of bring in the new year. Those are the things that we're, we're focusing on. And I'm passing it to you, Christian. What's going on with you this time of year? Well, this time of year, um, I I talk, think about this time of year for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, we've had going on three years of, of things being uh, pretty rough uh, in a lot of ways uh, for a lot of different folks for many different reasons. And so um, I know this is the really the first time people have begun to gather back together. I mean, there was some 
um, once we got, you know, once the vaccines and stuff came out and the variants started bringing mild symptoms that are in everything. But um, I think that um, for this to be the first time in a long time where, you know, you're yeah. almost expected to gather and, and all of that, um, it's also a perfectly normal right now to feel um, a little apprehensive or, you know, excited, you know, all of those things at once, just because, you know, for many people, it's been a while. So I would encourage you, um, I saw this um, this, this uh, meme, well, it was made into a meme, a tweet, um, I think from a, uh, a psychologist or something like that. And she said, you know, a lot of people um, say, you know, happy holidays around this time of year. And she said, for some people, the holidays aren't happy. So, you know, it was just saying, you know, I hope you have a gentle holiday. And I think about that, about um, if you have the option to take the time off, that you are gentle with yourself, you're gentle with your families, um, whoever you're around. And like Paul said, you know, quietness and reflection um, and getting rest uh, and trying to get rest. And again, I know us in this field. I know what we do. Um, I know there's always planning and there's always fundraising that has to happen. There's always, you know, uh, productions that have to be uh, put together. That's And then for the artists, you know, there are scores to be studied, you know, all these different things. But um, I hope you will also take the time. And I'm saying this to myself first to actually chill and just be and do the things that bring you joy, um, do the hobbies that bring you joy, um, being around the family and the friends uh, that bring you joy um, in any way that you can. And if you can't do all of those, those things, that you just find a way to find some sort of peace and comfort um, as we try to make our way through the end of this year and in uh, into the next year. I've noticed, noticed on um, a lot of social media platforms right now, nobody is saying things like 23, what, what, what is it? 2023 is going to be my year. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen a lot of those <laughs> those things. And somebody was like, y'all are scared, aren't you? And I think a lot of, a lot of people are because it has been rough. I mean, it, we laugh. It's, oh, I'm sorry, I laugh. It was, it's funny, but it also is it's, it's real. It's, it's valid. So um, mm -hmm. I would say just just do those things that bring you, bring you some kind of uh, joy and some peace and some comfort. And you bring up a good point. Um, I have not seen them as well, but I didn't notice that I didn't see it. So that's interesting. Uh, I did not notice that I did not see. Woo, 2023 is my year. All of these things. Yeah. Uh, but I have been noticing, even with organizations, especially justice-centered organizations, taking a break. Mm -hmm. Actively saying, this is going to be our final tweet of, this is going to be our final post of, this is going to be our final, right, of 2022. Um, and whatever restoration and, you know, whatever that means, right. Whether it's an active rest, if they're planning and doing things, whether it is uh, more of a passive rest of them just being, I've seen those. And I think it's very important that we also acknowledge moments of rest and that we honor them, right. In the ways that they are necessary. I'm telling myself that too. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm working with you. Yeah, and in so many ways, because you also brought up this is kind of the first time where there is a sense of routine and being able to gather again. And we were talking before, some people will realize that there are empty spaces, right? Mm -hmm. That they did not realize were there before because we were not in a space to see it. We were not gathered around to be able to see um, who or what is no longer there. And during this time of year, so many things are going on, right? So much hope, so much um, kind of sorrow simultaneously, so many things happening, so many expectations. Some people just keep going, right? Business as usual. What does that mean mm -hmm. to me, right? Oh, yeah. And I think at this time of year, it is important to do what is most meaningful, to give ourselves space and other space, grace. I like that, the gentleness that comes with that and to to center not just what is most meaningful but what's most meaningful in this moment as opposed to i'm trying yeah. to plan for a future yeah you, i'm sure you've been doing that you're, you're gonna be okay <laughs> i'm sure mm -hmm. you've been doing that i'm sure you do that all the time yeah what absolutely. is most meaningful right now and how how do we center that and how do we lean into the courage to actually center it so those are those are my thoughts. And I also want to just say um, just a huge shout out to, you know, folks that can't take take off. You know, we have people that are healthcare workers. And, you know, obviously this is the time of year where, you know, there's a lot of medical things going on. Unfortunately, yep. um, we also know that, 
you know, um, we know there are a lot of truckers and all these, you know, these folks that have to be on the road. So um, I just want to say thank you for what you do. Um, we know our military, uh, yep. the same thing. They can't be home with their families and all that. So we just want to be mindful of those things as well. Um, it, it is okay to, you know, en enjoy yourself and all of those things, but also just be mindful of the way, the way in which you're moving uh, during this time of year. And like I said, I think that whole gentle thing is really, really, well, that's a word. That's a real word right there. Um, Cause that, that's, that's what I, that's what I picked up on um, just in the past two weeks. That is, that is something that has stuck with me for the past two weeks. And for the very reason that I, that, you know, we just talked about that, you know, it's the first time that there is some sort of normality. Um, what, what even is that anymore? But um, that there are those empty chairs, you know, when you, when you gather in the family space. So um, for remember, whatever reason, uh, right. There's a lot of conversations. Yeah, yeah, I ain't talking to you no more. All of it. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of, you know, I, I'll never see you again. I will never speak to you again. And that sort of thing as well. So let's just be mindful of that and mindful of each other. Mm -hmm. um, just be kind to each other. And that, that, I, I, that's my one positive note. That's, that's your one. Be kind positive. to each other. And be I will say and yourself. that in the spaces, right, because as we look at it holistically, there are uh, there are new connections that we've been able to make. So lean into that as well. There are new yeah. connections. There are um, there are not just new relationships, but new engagements with things that we like, mm -hmm. with people with whom we share something meaningful lean into mm -hmm. those spaces in a way that that supports you and your humanity and all of those beautiful things that come with it all the challenging things that come with it because both are true at the same time 100 agree um well folks that's really all we had that's today it. uh we just really wanted to just hop on um and let you know that we see you and we hear you and uh we appreciate you joining us um and again um, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Um, we'll see you in the new year. In the new year. All right. Bye, everyone.